Hello everyone and welcome to Hip Brains. What are rivers? What are oceans? How are rivers formed? How are oceans formed? If you're seeking answers to these questions, stick around till the end. So first of all, let's have a look at what are rivers and how are they formed. A river is a natural flowing water course, usually fresh water flowing towards an ocean, sea, lake or another river. A river forms from water flowing from a higher elevation to a lower elevation, all due to gravity. Most rivers originate high up in the mountains. The place where a river originates from is called the source of the river. When glaciers melt due to the heat of the sun, it turns to water and flows down the mountain in small streams gradually starting to form a river. Rain also plays a role in the formation of rivers. When rain falls on the land, it either seeps into the ground or becomes runoff which flows downhill into the rivers. While rivers are trying to find the quickest way towards the sea, Due to a lot of pressure and force that the fast flowing river gives, it tends to erode a lot of the river bank and soil and take it with it. Rivers form snake-like patterns as they flow across fairly flat valley floor. The fast flowing side of the river erodes comparatively more than the slow side of the river. Therefore, more sediments get deposited on the slow side, resulting in land in one side and on the other side water creating loops known as meanders. So we can say that all the rivers and streams start at some high point. These streams slowly join together to form larger streams. Eventually all this water forms rivers and runs into the ocean. The place where a river enters the sea, ocean or lake is called its mouth. So now time for a fun fact. Did you know that the river Nile is the longest river on earth? It measures around 4,132 miles. Did you also know that the Nile runs through or along the border of 10 other African countries? Now let's have a look at what are oceans and how are they formed. Over vast periods of time, our primitive oceans formed. Water remained gas until the earth cooled below 212 degrees Fahrenheit. At this time, about 3.8 billion years ago, the water condensed into rain, which filled the basins that are now known as our oceans. So we have five oceans which are all connected together, namely the Arctic Ocean, the Southern Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. So be sure to like, share, subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell for further updates. You can also let us know what you'd like to know next in the comments down below.